Welcome back to Artsenu, where we tour, travel, and learn about different places in our homeland in Israel. This is my home. This is my motherland. This is the place where I want to be. A home no one can take away from me. This is my home. This is my chosen land. This is the place I live to defend. Hoping to find some day capture with them. This is my home. This is the place where I want to be A home no one can take away from me This is my home This is my only land This is the place where I want to be That will live on for all eternity This is my As you know, Pesach is called Chag Aviv. It's springtime. It's a beautiful time of year. Things are getting warmer and nicer outside, and it's time to go on some trips, especially on Chol Hamaid. Check out some of the places we visited this Chol Hamaid. Our first stop was the Israeli Gan HaChayot, the zoo, because unique to other zoos, in this zoo we cannot serve the animals chametz during Pesach, and we found the monkeys enjoying the matzah tremendously. Next stop, Atraxia Water Park. Before we were heading down that water slide, it occurred to us, you know, B'nai Yisrael left Mitzrayim, and they traveled through the desert, like a big beach, a lot of sand, with no water. Where did they get water from? So some of the time they had the Be'erisha Miriam, the well of Miriam that provided them with water for 40 years when they were in the desert. And there were other times where they complained to Moshe, and Moshe brought forth water from a rock not once, but twice. And we began to wonder, where is that rock today? places while we scouted out the beautiful scenery of Eretz Yisrael. But as we're in search for the water, for the well that Moshe brought to Bnei Yisrael, we found ourselves crossing the King Hussein Bridge, used to be called the Allenby Bridge after General Allenby from World War II. Now it's called after the former King of Jordan, the King Hussein Bridge. Uh, the King of Jordan played a very important part in the Six-Day War and in Yerushalayim falling back into the hands of of the Jewish people. Let's keep riding. This is one of the most beautiful places lost here in the deserts of Jordan. The area we're in, the general area is called Ma'an, or Man, and the specific area, this city here, beautiful limestone city, is called Petra, Jordan. These beautiful cities were etched into the limestone. It's such a fascinating, beautiful place to visit. But we're going to keep riding. It's been a pretty cool bike ride all across the beautiful deserts here, and it's really hot. This building is a very special building. The neighborhood we're in is called Wadi Musa. A wadi is a canyon that fills with water sometimes. And this particular wadi, this building, was built over the place where the water just seems to come out of a particular rock. This early photograph shows the water flowing out of the rock before the building was built to protect it. This rock is said to be the rock that Moshe struck in the desert. And when Moshe struck it, it gave water. And it never stopped giving water. People come from all over the world to come drink this water in this beautiful little building. Let's go inside and check it out.
This rock is the rock that Moshe struck. And the water has been flowing out ever since. In the early 1900s, this entire beautiful building was not here. They built this building around the rock and the beautiful well where people literally can go down and fill their cups and drink right out of the water that B'nai Yisrael used when they were on their way from Mitzrayim to Eretz Yisrael. So here's the area we bike from, from Eretz Yisrael across the Alibi Bridge all the way down to this area here where Petra is and Wadi Musa is. such a beautiful and special place to visit. Wonderful Chalamoid. But it's always exciting to go back to Eretz Yisrael. I was thinking about home. Shabbat Shalom.